On July the 8th, 2009, an event called Hosting the Stranger took place in Glenstall Abbey in Ireland. The performance was part of an international project known as the Guest Book and was inspired by the ritual traditions of hospitality in Celtic Christianity. Glenstall Abbey, once the domain of the Protestant Lord Barrington, is now a monastery of the Benedictine Order, celebrated for its pioneering work in ecumenical reconciliation between Protestants and Catholics. In a country marred by religious hostility and war for centuries, the recent moves towards a lasting peace, signalled by the Good Friday Agreement, makes the spirit of hospitality, ancient and contemporary, both timely and urgent. All the major religions of the world are essentially hospitable. They welcome everybody, strangers and aliens. And so our part of that, our task in this um, guest book, is to show that Christianity in Ireland, which essentially means Celtic Christianity, is in fact open to the other. And the way you do that is by ritual. I mean, there's no point in saying it or having it written in a book. There should be a way, a ritual, which actually um, is hospitable to the other. So the ritual which we're performing is saying that we don't know or we don't care whether they were hospitable in the past. What we're saying is, as of now, we are open to this. And this ritual is a declaration of intent. People are talking about that notion of the guest, the stranger, hosting, hospitality, hostility, all the same concepts or different takes on the same thing. And certainly from the Irish tradition we have a very strong um, focus on hospitality. It's one of our big strengths, like you would have not like you would have silence. Hospitality is also very strongly there, that you cade me la folta, we'd say a hundred thousand welcomes. Um, you, you welcome the stranger, dia huit, we say when we want to say hello to somebody, which is just like namaste, in, or namaskar in the Hindu tradition. The divine in me recognises the divine in you. So it's almost as if the essence of our life is about how we are guest, how we are host, and uh, even in the womb, as a mother, I would have been very conscious of that, that you have this little stranger, you're carrying the stranger for nine months, suddenly it's birthed and your life has changed. And so I suppose that is the essence of the guest book, is that the guest that comes in over the threshold, the reed threshold there, is actually about to become a friend, and it's going to change you. The Lady Garden, where this ceremony takes place, once belonged to Sir Charles Barrington, a Protestant known for his works for peace on behalf of his neighbours. In 1921, his only daughter Winifred was shot down in crossfire between the IRA and the Black and Tans. Today, the Abbot of Glenstall Abbey consecrates the water in the fountain in memory of Winifred Barrington. She played freely in these gardens as a child. Now the fountain stands as a symbol at the heart of today's ceremony. It is both a sacred wound in the body of this divided land and a place of liberty. Reading from the rule of our Holy Father Benedict, chapter the 53rd, on the reception of guests. Let all guests who arrive be received like Christ, for he is going to say, I came as a guest and you received me. What way is Christ present in the stranger? Is it just a metaphor uh, saying that, well, I'm represented in the stranger, or is he really there? Now, uh, this is a very difficult point, and uh, I have a feeling that the Celts may have believed that the presence of Christ was not just a metaphor, but he was really there himself. Oh, 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 oh,
I think this is the seed of a fine tree that's going to grow, so I would see it as being very important actually, not just in the Irish context. In fact, probably less in the Irish context than in a global context. Blessed are the